Hi, here we are on today's page and we've already done our live Zoom at this point for reading and phonics and writing. Um, your recess time is there. If you scroll down to our centers activities for today, there is a glue stick practice activity and you can watch and your child can go along with what I'm doing. If they already finished that, then great. The second thing on here for their independent center time would be boom cards. And it says boom cards, upper and lowercase letter match game. That's what they're going to be playing. Now, boom cards are really awesome. It's a fun game that I've made for the kids on the computer and they're self-correcting. So once they make a choice, it tells them, yes, you're right or no, you're incorrect. So it's a self-correcting thing, which is awesome. I should have sent you a passcode that looks something like this. This one just says student. It's going to be a sample student. Your child's name will be at the top. Their username is their, um, their student ID number. And the password is a picture password. And the ones that are colored in green are the ones that you are going to click on or your child will click on. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to just click on the little icon for the boom cards. And what's going to come up is this a student login. This is where they're going to be putting their student number in. And it's seven numbers long. It is long, but we practice from day one in our classroom as well, typing in our student number. After a couple times, they'll get it more and more and quicker and quicker. They will need some help probably in the very beginning, but they should start typing it in on their own. That's the expectation in the classroom as well. So this student, this sample student, their number is eight. Zero, zero, and then one, zero, zero, five. Okay, now they're going to click next. Oops, sorry. Next, and you'll see the pictures come up. And sometimes if they don't come up, click on this little green bar right here where it says picture sign in. And we have a bat and a bee for this student. So bat. And B is what you're going, your child's going to click on, and then the green sign in button at the bottom. All right, this is what it comes up. They automatically get a little avatar on there. So this is a little kitty cat. They can tap on it and they can change it to something else if they would like to change their avatar. You should see your child's name right there. And then if you scroll down, these are the two activities that I have assigned for this student. But the one that they're going to be working on is upper and lowercase letter matching. So they'll just click there. And then their game will be find the matching, matching lowercase, lowercase letter. letter. Okay, so it gives audio directions on most of them. I've put audio on almost all of my boom cards that your child will be using this year, and you're going. They're going to be looking at the letter at the bottom A, and they have to find the matching lowercase letter and click on it. It tells them that they're correct and goes on to the next card. So now we have a V. They're going to find the one that matches and. Um, please let your child try to do these on their own. They are self-correcting and the results from each card will come back to me. So then I will know which ones they got correct and which ones they did not. If they forget the directions, if they forget the directions and um, they need to hear them again, they just click on the sign the matching, matching lowercase lower letter. letter. Okay. And they'll find their matching letter. They'll click on it. What happens if they are wrong? I'll show you if this is a W and they click on this one, for example. Whoops. It's going to say whoops and give them a little cross out and then a chance to figure out which is the correct answer. Okay. And they'll keep on going until the end of the cards. Okay. All right. And... That is how you do the boom cards. Um, it will open up in a new tab right up here. This is where our Wednesday work is. This is where our boom cards are. Um, your child will need a little bit of assistance in the beginning if they're not familiar with closing a certain tab. When they're finished with this, um, and I did not finish it all the way. So it's going to tell me that I did not finish all the way and that I got two out of 26 correct. And those results will come to me as well. Okay, and when they're finished, you can click the little X and go back to whatever your next activity is for their center time. And of course, the live things we have to do at the certain time, your independent activities, you and your child can decide which ones they do first and second and so on. Okay, all right, I hope this helps.
and have fun with your boom cards. Bye-bye.